So here we are in the Palacio de Gobierno in Guadalajara, Mexico. I'm going to turn you around and we're going to kind of walk through a corridor and see a huge mural um, by Jose Clemente Orozco. Um, so uh, we'll kind of, as we go here, you can kind of see that it's, it's really, really imposing and, and honestly it's kind of scary. Um, what you see here is actually, this is Miguel Hidalgo. Uh, he is actually a, uh, back in like the 1800s and, and, and late, 19, late 1700s, he was uh, kind of the first person to call for, for Mexican Revolution, and he he even made a call to arms to say, you know, uh, basically what was more or less kill all the Spaniards. Um, this one was actually, this mural was actually painted in the 1930s, kind of depicting all the pressing issues at the time, communism, fascism, religion, um, and, and Hidalgo is there kind of brandishing a torch, kind of pushing uh, all the bad elements down. So whether it's representing, you know, Mexico pushing up bad elements, I'm not sure, so I'll leave that one up to the interview. So now here we are in the Instituto Cultural de Cabanas. Uh, again, I'm going to turn you around. Um, there's kind of a huge cathedral again, the same muralist uh, painted a bunch of murals. Uh, all the murals in this one actually depict the history of Guadalajara. I wish I could tell you what the history was and what all these represented. Unfortunately, I'm not quite the historian of Guadalajara, but uh, I can just kind of let you enjoy the pictures and, and imagine the, the rough times that Guadalajara did go through as represented by a lot of these paintings. So just to let you know, uh, I'm actually kind of taking you here through a more or less pseudo-chronological order. So all of you with your Guadalajara history textbooks out, you can follow right along.